Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is April. If this is your first time here, please join the fam and subscribe to my channel. Hello to my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. I hope you've been enjoying the content so far. Um, so for this video, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a personal video. I'm going to be talking about a reason why pharmacy school didn't work out for me and why it wasn't a good fit for me. Without further ado, I'm just going to roll right into this video. So uh, I don't keep you guys here very long because I can, I tend to talk a little too much sometimes. So let's just jump right into the video. So I'm going to highlight four major points that sort of uh, told me that uh, pharmacy school wasn't the right fit for me. The first point is bad timing. Bad timing is definitely the number one reason I feel was the reason why pharmacy school was not a good uh, fit for me. I feel like it just wasn't the right time. Plus I was a little too young to make such a drastic life decision like that. A lot of parents don't really address this, but I feel that anyone between the age of 15 to 21 shouldn't really be making a life-changing decision such as a career decision. And yes, I know that this is the time you're supposed to have gone to college and uh, graduated, but I do feel like a lifelong decision as big as going to grad school shouldn't be something that 17, 19, or 21 year olds should be making after graduation. If you do decide to go to college, I feel like you should wait, you know, a year or even a year plus before you make that decision to continue on with grad school or not. So number two, I definitely think that poor research on my part was definitely another reason why pharmacy school was not the right fit for me. I feel like I didn't do as much research. I was almost like, uh, I was in a little bit of a rush to go on to the next chapter. Maybe if I slowed down a bit and I did a lot more research, it would have definitely saved me a lot of time and a lot of potentially money going into that program. For me personally, I realized pretty early on that that program or pharmacy in general was not for me, but I was just scared to leave. I really was scared because obviously I'm being African, my parents were looking out for me. I had told so many people, I had even posted on social media, really put it out there <laughs> to the world that I was in pharmacy school and it was such a big deal. And I didn't know how to face the world if I decided not to continue in this program. And on top of that, I was not getting good grades, even being 100% transparent. I wasn't getting the grades to support or you know to still remain in this program. So my grades were failing, I wasn't happy. But um, I just was too scared to leave. A word of advice really quickly, if you're a slow learner like me, take the time to research the program that you go into. If I really told myself, hey, like you're a slow learner, take the time to go to a four-year program. Maybe things would have been better. I don't know. But I say take the time to, if you really want to do pharmacy or medicine or nursing school, whatever it is, you should really take the time to see how quick the program goes or how quick you learn really before you decide to go with a certain program. Because if you go with a program that's really accelerated and really quick and you're not a quick learner, it might not work out for you. And that's the situation that I was in. I'm not too quick of a learner and I was in a program that wasn't slow enough for me to catch up. The next point is me not being true to myself. I think that also the community that I was around at the time was a bunch of uh, people that were wanting to go to nursing school, pharmacy school, medical school. Being African, we we're really overachievers. Uh, so we want to you know, live the American dream and uh, more than anything, please our parents and show, that our, show our parents that their labor here was not in vain. So um, I really was sort of going along with everybody else was doing. I wasn't asking myself tough questions like what do you really like, what do you like to do, what do you feel like you would excel in. So I sort of was going on that path and just saying okay well I like chemistry, I, don't, I can't do medicine because I don't like biology, I can't do nursing because I don't like nursing. So pharmacy it is, you know, so the, those are another questions you should, be, you should be asking yourself. You should ask yourself what correlates to your being. I was watching this TED talk the other day and the lady was saying how she chose a career just like me that wasn't aligned with who she was. So don't choose a career that you love, choose a career that is aligned with your being, a career that is aligned with who you are as a person. Because you can love something, but it's not aligning with who you are. So if you love makeup, be a makeup artist. If you like fixing cars, do that. You know, like don't try to be an electronic engineer and work on projects for people. Just work on cars because that's who you are. I hope I'm making sense. Just do you, be true to yourself because nobody else will ever be you or have the same feelings that you have towards anything. It's really just you and only you can make 
that decision and no one and nothing should influence that. In summary, I just want to say don't be afraid to ask yourself really tough questions about your career and it aligning with who you are and what you want to do in the future. Don't do something because everybody is doing it. Do something because it's what you live and breathe for. If possible, complete your degree first. Take a gap year after you graduate to make sure this is something that you really want and within that gap year try to work or intern you know unpaid work in that field just to make sure you really really like this stuff before you fully commit to it because four years in pharmacy school or two years or whatever is a long time so make sure that you're really 100 percent without a doubt that you want to do this and make sure you're not just doing this for the money because money is great and all but money doesn't make you happy forever like i see a lot of celebrities that you know have all this money and they're not happy you know, because money only satisfies you, you know, for a while. If you do everything you always wanted to do with money, you're going to end up this broken person that wishes that there was something more. Something's going to be missing. So make sure that you're not doing it just for money. Make sure that there's something stronger than money backing up that decision. And finally, remember that grad school is really expensive. Therefore, it's going to come with a lot of loans. Make sure that you're 100% again on your decision before you make it and that's it you guys thank you guys so much for watching my video i really appreciate you guys stopping by to watch my video out of all the videos on youtube please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next one bye